again. Um, so this is a new flower um, planting that we're doing. We put in the swimming pool this summer. Um, so we decided that we wanted to kind of create a barrier from um, anybody else that might be out and about. Not that there's that many people because we live out in the country. But anyway, um, just wanted to kind of surround the pool with flowers, make it look gorgeous. Because uh, I like to float in there, so I'm usually up above the water on my float. Um, so anyway, we decided on alternating the blue um, Rose of Sharon, the blue chiffon. So we're alternating blue chiffon, firelight tidbit, um, and they're just alternating blue chiffon. And so here's this one. These were a little bit taller. This one's about um, 12 inches tall, I'll say. Some of these firelight tidbits are going out instead of up. They'll change. They'll start growing upward. But um, so here is one of the small pots of the blue chiffon um, rose of Sharon from Proven Winners. And like I said, I I buy the smaller plants because planting can be expensive, especially when you're planting mass amount amounts of um, garden so I get the smaller pots and I just have patience and let them grow and so far I've had a lot of success with it and um, so these were just planted um, today <laughs> my husband loves me <laughs> but I help do a lot of the work so don't um, get me wrong so yeah so this is just like seven inches so I'm hoping it's going to be 19 inches. So that's a lot of growth in one year. And so it still blooms, just a ton of blooms. Um, and I think some of these that I saw, I think they had some blooms on them. So Firelight Tidbit, um, Blue Chiffon. I bought a couple of grasses because I don't have any grasses planted. I bought the uh, Prairie Winds Apache Rose grasses from Proven Winners. I think I'm going to put these in the corners on the pool. Um, I still have another uh, probably like tidbit to plant, but again, we just alternated these. And again, look at, they're so little. Just, that's the firelight tidbit. About seven inches. Same for these. And then we did it all the way. Um, I'm gonna go the other side. We also have um, yeah, little lime punch. These were planted this year. We have a little lime punch here. I think this was actually planted last year. This was the little lime. I'm sorry, we just planted, so we have some that we got here that we got to throw away. And, oh, by the way, we do use the holly tone um, for the shrubs that we plant for the hibiscus. So that's what we use for our fertilizer. And then this is another little line punch right here. And then that was our kids' uh, place that when they were little. Of course, our kids are too big now. And so um, we're just planting some flowers around it. Um, again, blue chiffon, firelight tidbit, blue chiffon, firelight tidbit, and so on. <laughs> you can pretty much tell. Here's the blue, here's the pink, firelight tidbit, blue chiffon. So I guess that it's gonna hopefully look absolutely gorgeous in a few years when we get bigger and create a nice privacy and uh, a natural privacy fence for around the swimming pool and also from a distance 
hide the, the tubing that's on the pool. Um, and then we also made this really pretty path um, just ourselves to put some white stones down and a little walkway. Um, and then here's my patio. Tour. We do have another garden, but whew, that's a lot um, to show you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Heather's Michigan Garden. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good night. Bye.